Just like I promised in this video, I will be showing you some of the keyboard tricks that are here with iOS 13. I personally haven't seen anyone using these and I will mix some of the more known tips and tricks with the least known. So make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss the one that may be useful for you. Now I'm Lucas from Apple Facts and let's begin. Okay, so you guys probably know that you can hold down uh, the space bar and move the cursor around and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty basic. So you know that, for example, if you uh, you can double tap to select the text. But did you know that you can perform a three fingers pinch in order to copy the text? You can see we have the copy right there. Yeah, so the text has been copied. And now if I click on paste, we have that again. Now, one more thing, if I select it once again, and let's say I pinch or do this gesture two times in a row. Yeah, let me do it once again. One, two. So now it turned out to work. You can see that the text has disappeared, but it didn't disappear just because we removed it, but it's been cut out of this note. And now you can again click on paste and it's going to be pasted right there. So not only copy, if you pinch with three fingers twice, then you actually cut the text. If you do the pinching a lot, you, you may just uh, make the, the screen zoom in. So yeah, if you have that turned on, it can happen that you accidentally trigger the zoom feature. Okay, guys, so if you are for the first time here on the, the Apple Facts channel, one thing you can do is support uh, this video with your thumbs up so more people can actually see it and also subscribe to the Apple Facts channel so you don't miss future videos and content I think you would benefit from. So make sure you do that and let's continue with the video. Okay, so you know that you can copy it with a, with a pinch, but if I, let's say that I just copied once again, you can see it's been copied. You don't have to click on the paste button, but simply pinch out with the three fingers. Did you see? It's been pasted right into the note. You can keep performing this if you really want. I mean, it looks kind of weird. You have to get used to this if you really want to use it. But yeah, at least know that something like this even exists. The next thing is probably a little bit more basic and more people know about it, but still not many people take use of this. And in iOS 13, you have the option to swipe on the keyboard in order to type. So you can type in whatever you want just by swiping and it, it actually works really well. In the past, we used to download some third-party software and apps like keyboards, like SwiftKey used to be the most popular one for this. But right now, you can uh, really easily uh, type whatever you want just by swiping and uh, that really saves a lot of time. You probably heard about the shake to undo feature that's been here for uh, quite a while, but it just looks very weird if you do it, especially in public. So let's say you want to undo something, you just go like this and this undo it pops up so you can click on undo and yeah let, let's for example type in something so i can show you and i'll shake my phone hit undo and it comes back and i shake my phone again and i can undo again or redo the typing so that's how you do it but like i said it looks very weird what you can do instead is to simply use three fingers a lot of gestures with three fingers nowadays but yeah you don't don't tap you just place your fingers on a screen and swipe either this direction or this direction. And you can keep on doing that. I mean, you can easily delete whatever you want and you can make it appear once again. So yeah, like I say, just make sure to avoid uh, the uh, keyboard area and perform all of the gestures, like all of the pinching and all of the swiping with three fingers and stuff like that, only on uh, the surface and only in the area of the node. So don't do it on the keyboard. Like this is kind of apparent. I didn't want to include the things that I consider to be obvious, but I still can see many TikTok videos about it. Like, for example, you apparently know that you can just hold down two uh, characters to like show the uh, other of them. But what people seem to not know is that you can do it with other things as well. For example, if you hold down to zero, you get the degree sign and, and stuff like that. So it's not only with the letters and there are some other characters that you can hold down to and that uh, will reveal some of the other options. So I kind of thought to, to throw it in in the video so people can actually know about it in case they don't. But I'm pretty sure you 
know stuff like this already. Okay, but another less known thing to do is uh, if we come back to selecting the text, you know that you can double tap on a word to select it. And what people do not know, and actually not many people use right now, uh, as far as I know, is that you can even triple tap the word to select the entire sentence just like that and you can see that we just got uh, selected the entire row or sentence not sure how exactly it works but what you also can do is to tap one more time in succession so it means uh, four times tapping with just like this and uh, this will select the entire paragraph that's super useful like in, in the past it used to work with the 3d touch models a lot better so you could just force press on the keyboard and force press even harder on it in order to select it and you can just drag it out uh, where, wherever you want it used to be a lot better like i mentioned it in pretty much every single one of my videos that i miss the 3d touch but what can i say about it it's just something that will probably never come back again so i'm pretty sad about it in case you don't know what i'm talking about let me bring the iphone 10 right now and with this one let me show you what i mean you can hold down anywhere with the 3d touch model on the keyboard and move the cursor around and if you hold down even further like even harder you can see it's selected and now you move around the text and select whatever you want i mean tell me this is not useful and if you still think that 3D Touch wasn't a thing, just just compare this experience on uh, the uh, iPhone 11 where the 3D Touch has been removed. It's just impossible to do anything like this. First of all, you can only hold down to the space bar to activate uh, the uh, moving around gesture. You cannot hold down on uh, any other key, no matter how hard you press. And also, if you, uh, if you are here already, you're not able to select or press any more firmly to select the text, which really sucks and you cannot just do it. So you can only just double tap, triple tap or do whatever you need to do in order to select the text. But yeah, that's it, it used to work a lot better on uh, the other 3D touch devices. And uh, thankfully, it still works the same way, even though I was 13 tries to uh, remove the 3D touch features in order to make uh, the newer devices without the 3D touch look the same and feel the same, you can still use the gestures on the devices that support it. So that's pretty nice, even though it would be a lot nicer if Apple kept 3D touch on uh, their devices. Okay, so this is pretty much everything what I wanted to say. Besides that, uh, there are naturally some other things and other great features of the keyboard, but these are just really known by everyone, so I'm not gonna go into that. I just wanted to provide you some value in this video, and if you found some value in this, make sure to hit the thumbs up on this video to make it go up in YouTube algorithm and more people can see it and take use of the great gestures in the, the notes and on uh, the keyboard. If you want to see more content like this and make sure to never miss anything in the future, make sure you click on the subscribe button. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe just like all the time and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out, guys.